In this video, I'm going to share with you the Coordinate Graphing Hidden Pictures book. It would make a really fun addition to your homeschool for grades three through five. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is A Common Life. I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids, and I recently went to our local homeschool store where they were just giving away boxes and boxes of free curriculum, and I found this book, and I thought it would make a really fun addition to our homeschool. So it is a Coordinate Graphing Hidden Pictures workbook for grades three through five. And it has activities for both first quadrant and four quadrant graphing, four or five geometry questions about each graph, and 36 graphing activities, one for each week of the school year. So I thought this would be really, really fun. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So there is a table of contents and an introduction. And then you can see here, quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Complete the graph on page five by following step one and step two. So basically, they're going to have you plot the different points, draw the different line segments, and then answer the questions. So it's really, really straightforward, should be pretty simple, but as it goes through the book, it gets harder and harder. They'll give you a few little dots, and then eventually they'll give you some more lines and things like that, and you have to kind of figure out what that picture is going to be based on all of this information that they give you over here. So like I said, it is pretty straightforward, but it gets more and more challenging, you can see, as you go through this book. Now here's one of the four quadrant ones. These are even more challenging. There's a little ladder, I wonder what that's gonna be. And I just thought this would make a really fun addition to um, the math that you're using in your homeschool. Or even if you don't homeschool, this would just be a fun book to have on hand for your kids to just do if they're bored or over summer break and they need some type of educational activity to do. I think this would be a really good addition for that. So then at the very back, they have all of the answer keys here for you. Um, I've said this in previous videos, but I usually take the answer keys out of books just so my kids are not tempted to look at the answer key. Anyway, but they're all here, the back of the book. Oh, that's the, that's the end. So yeah, this features hands-on fun and reinforces essential skills for both first quadrant and four quadrant graphing. So this is a really great thing that you could use one every week or whenever you feel like it. So I will have this book link to in the description box down below in case you would like to get a copy for yourself. It's just something a little bit extra fun to do with your math in your homeschool. So I thought you guys would like to get a peek inside this book. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.